guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a wonderful day today I am so thrilled today to be sharing with you a tag video I was tagged by the lovely Lux Purse Love or Melinda and she created her own tag and the tag is five bags for every day so she says that in your collection you have to pick five bags and there are five different categories she has everyday bag for like errands she has work bag rainy day, fun bag, and date night. And she was kind enough to tag me to do this video. If you guys have not checked her channel out, make sure to do so. She has a lovely collection. She also has the sweetest demeanor and personality. So I know that you guys will love her channel. I will link it down below. But I thought this was such a fun tag video because, you know, it, it caused me to take a look at my collection and pick the bags that I usually pick for these specific occasions. Now, I will tell you, a couple of these categories you might be surprised by what bag I pick, specifically work bag. You guys might be surprised the bag I pick. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into my five bags for every day. Okay, so the first category is your everyday bag. So this is something that you would take with you when you run errands, and I know you guys are not going to be surprised by the bag I pick, and it is the Pochette Matisse. Did you guys have any doubts that I would pick the Pochette Matisse? I know that I have gushed about this bag over and over so this is probably like I don't know like the 30th time you'll see me on camera bragging about it but I love this bag. It's great for errands because it's easy to use and it's so carefree. I love the fact that it has a top handle. I always say that when you're shopping or doing something, if it has a top handle, it's easy to just grab it, especially if you have it like in your shopping cart. Also, when you wear it, if you're someone that like put, likes pockets on bags like me, this is amazing because it has a back pocket and it fits right in vertically. A lot of times I will put it in there horizontally and it's just so easy to access. I used to have the XR and now I have the iPhone 14 Pro and it fits in there nicely. Not only that, the strap is adjustable and the strap is also removable so it sits very comfortably on your body. It's super comfortable to wear and because it has this accordion style shape, the bag fits so much. It really does. You can see it spreads out and I will do an overlay so you guys can see what fits, but this bag is so good. The only issues I have had so far with it are on this particular one. This is in the Emprunt leather. You guys know I love black bags. I do have a little bit of tarnishing here, and that's mainly from the oils of my fingers, you know, using hand sanitizer, constantly touching it. And then on occasion, the bag is kind of a pain to close, especially if it's empty and it's not full. But I love it. I love the top handle. I love the functionality. I love that it doesn't have any vachetta. I do also own the one in monogram. I love that as well. However, it does have a vachetta handle and vachetta here. So if I had to pick between the two, I do reach for this one because I do wear a lot more black. So this is just kind of easy to grab, especially if I'm like running errands and I'm just wearing leggings or joggers. A lot of times my joggers are black or my leggings are black and this is just really easy. So if I had to pick a bag for errands to use every day it would have to be this one I mean I have used and abused it and this emprunt leather has still stayed so nice I have minimal wear and tear this is just such a good bag and I just absolutely love it okay so the next category was your work bag like which bag do you think is the best for work but I'm gonna put a spin on it and I'm gonna say the bag that I reach for the most when it comes to work so most of you when you think of work bags you would think of a tote and I do agree I think a tote is a great work bag you can fit your laptop you can fit a bunch of stuff in it but unfortunately I just don't really gravitate towards totes that much if I was to gravitate towards a tote it would be for travel I love the never full for that and I also do love the Chanel Deauville however if I take a look back at the past year and I look at the bag that I reach for whenever I go into the office it might surprise you but it is this YSL large envelope bag and I know you're thinking you're like that's not really like a, a work bag it's not your typical like work tote but I like it for work because I feel like it looks streamlined and structured and then this bag just I feel like it looks so nice with 
a business outfit. So if you're wearing a blazer, it's nice. You can kind of carry it like this or you can carry it on your shoulder. And it's also one of those bags where it has one like large compartment. So it definitely fits a lot. It does get a little heavy at times. So of course, for a lot of people, it might not be your ideal work bag. But I felt like for this category, I had to choose the bag that I reach for every time I go into the office. You guys may or may not know, I've been working from home, but when I do go into the office, I just feel like this bag looks so chic. It has the YSO logo, you have the chevron, you have the quilting, and then on the back it has this large pocket here where you can slip your phone into. That's another thing I love. You can wear this as a short shoulder. The strap also goes like this and you can wear it as a long shoulder. And the leather, it is the grained leather. YSL has some of the best leather in my opinion. It, you don't have to worry about it getting scratched. And like I said, I like this bag because it's just one large compartment so you can fit quite a bit. And I think I'm more so saying this is a nice work bag, more so for the looks of it. Like it's very structured, it's streamlined, it looks good and chic with like a business suit. It's just a beautiful bag and out of all of my bags, this is the one that I reach for when I go into the office. Now, as I stated, if I were to pick a tote, I would probably pick the Never Full. Maybe not in the GM size because I use that more for travel. Probably the MM size, that's more of an everyday tote. Or I would go for the Chanel Deauville. I would use both of those if I wanted to take a laptop and carry more things. But if I'm just carrying my day-to-day, -day, everyday items, even like a notepad I put in here as well. You can even slip a notepad in the back pocket as well. I just love this bag for work. But that's why I thought it might surprise you because you might assume I'm gonna pick a tote. But this is the one that I've actually been reaching for when I go into the office. Okay, the next category that Melinda selected was rainy day category. Now this is the bag that you would reach for if it's raining. And I specifically think a good bag for that would be a bag that you don't have to worry about really carefree. And when I look at my collection, I make wanna make sure I don't select a bag with Vachetta, but I wanna select a functional bag that I'm going to be able to use in the rain and I think this bag would be great. This is the Louis Vuitton Odeon PM. I love this bag. It is a close second to my Pochette Matisse in the functionality of it. I actually think I did mention this in my most functional bags video but I love that it has a pocket right here. I love the little luggage tag and the reason I think this is a good rainy day bag is for the one reason it does have the Damier Ben. You don't, it's very carefree. You don't have to worry about getting like water spots on it. If you do get water, it'll just wipe off. You also have this thick strap. It is adjustable. The strap is also removable, but I have mentioned, I don't think I'd ever wear it without the strap, but it's very comfortable to wear. The only thing sometimes this buckle, I think I've mentioned, will kind of dig into my shoulder at times, but it's not a huge deal. I love the way that this bag fits on your body because of the shape. It just molds really nicely. And then it has the two zippers, which I always keep open. And then the inside of the bag is a dark um, interior. So I would recommend getting an organizer, like a lighter colored organizer. That way you can see your things. But this fits a good amount. It fits all of your necessities. And again, I love this pocket for my phone. You can see it's theme so far. All of these have pockets. I love my pockets, but this is just not only a functional bag, but you're not going to have to worry if it gets wet. Whereas if you have a bag with Vachetta, you're going to have to worry about possibly getting rain spots on it and you know, you invest the money in a bag, you don't wanna to have to worry about that. So I think for a rainy day bag, it's gonna be the bag I would choose. Now I would say a close second would be my Louis Vuitton Outdoor Messenger Bag. That again is another one that has a pocket, but it also doesn't have Vachetta. I will insert a picture so you can see that is a close second, but this one I definitely reach for the most when it comes to rain. Okay, the next category was a fun bag and she mentioned vacation, but I'm gonna put a little bit of a spin on that one as well and for a fun bag I'm gonna say a bag with color and I know what you guys I know you guys are gonna guess what it is and it is my beauty right here this is my Chanel mini rectangular in the Tiffany blue it's actually the color is light blue but it is from the cruise collection I purchased this for my 40th birthday and this was one of my dream bags in like my dream color this is definitely like one of my favorite colors. I love turquoise. 
I really, really do. I actually just wore this the other day. If you guys watch my recent vlog, spend the day with me and check that out. I wore this and I share with you what fits, but this is such a beautiful bag. And I think this will be a good bag um, if you want that pop of color. I really, really like the strap drop on the mini rectangular. It is a little bit longer, so it fits you nicely. Even if you're wearing a jacket, it hits at a good point. Now, my bag does have a little bit of color transfer. I don't know if you recall, but because I bought this bag a couple years ago, but when I purchased the bag, it did have a little bit of wear and tear here. Um, and that's because the prior owner did wear it with some jeans. So you just have to be very mindful when wearing colored bags like this. But this is just such a fun bag. It's such a beautiful bag. I have it in silver hardware. You can see the beautiful chain with the leather going through the the silver hardware turn lock closure opens like this and you can see the little compartment I like that you can fit quite a bit in it as well and then this was actually you this was the color was light blue and it was from the 19 C collection it is just the most beautiful blue so when she said a fun bag I knew right away that this was going to be my choice because this is so beautiful it does have a little bit of wear and tear from when I purchased it before but you know what it's okay it's all love and it builds character and I just the color makes me happy every time it's so beautiful so this is the one I chose however you know that there has to be another bag I mentioned because I was racking my brain I'm like I can't just like pick one I'm trying to just pick one so far for each category but for this one for like a fun bag and like a color bag I have to mention this you guys I have to mention my iridescent flat bag um, this is my dream bag by far if I were to pick a dream bag I know the jumbo was but then I got this one this bag makes me so happy I don't wear it as much as I should but when I walk into my closet I see it there and I just it's so beautiful and this is another colored bag that I mean it is stunning I'm gonna insert a clip but it just oh, in the light it looks so beautiful the back pocket it has the champagne gold hardware you open it up it is a double flap oh that is one thing I wanted to mention too I do like that these are single flaps too whereas these are this one is a double flap it has a zipper there and then you can see the interior there it is just so pretty you guys I just absolutely love it so I knew that I had to like include this in this video somehow so of course this would be my choice for the fun bag but I have to mention this as like a close second because this bag is just so pretty I mean look at it it's so so pretty love the color oh so excited about this okay so for my fun bag this was the choice but I had to include this as well if that's okay all right and the last category that Melinda selected was your date night bag and I knew right away what bag to choose because every time I mean every single time I go on a date night with my husband I choose this one and it is my Chanel classic flap medium size lambskin it black with silver hardware I purchased this like 10 years ago I think I mentioned that to you guys I got it for half the price I love the Chanel medium classic flap and there's something about this bag when you're going on a date night it just looks so nice I also wore this the other day when we went out for Christmas Eve I wore it with some red Badgley Mishka pumps and I just thought oh, this bag is so pretty you can see it has the Mona Lisa pocket it has very minimal wear and tear however you do have to be mindful I'm sure you're aware of the lambskin. I have scratched this with my nail. I've scratched it with my ring. And the first time you do that, your heart drops. But I always say it gives it a little love. It gives it a little character. So anyway, it's a double flap just like the others. So you can see there are some scratches on there as well. And then the interior is this beautiful burgundy. And let me see the authenticity card. So this is a... 19 series this was back when they still had the authenticity cards now they have like the chips but this bag I think is great for date night you can't go wrong with a classic flap so I guess I kind of could include this one as a date night bag too because I have worn this on a date night but again when I pick these categories I wanted to look at my collection and see what is the bag that I really really pick for each of these categories and these are the bags that 
I selected. So I want to take a moment again to thank Melinda for tagging me to do this video. This was such a good idea. It was so fun. I'm going to include a few ladies down below and I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. I share a lot of outfit, outfit pics with these bags in case you guys are interested. So thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Which means